In this session, let us learn the difference between human language and computer language, the difficulties in human language and text normalization. Now let us first understand the difference between human language and computer language. We all know that humans communicate through the language that we process all the time. Our brain keeps on processing sounds that it hears around itself and tries to make some sense out of it. Even in the classroom, when the teacher is delivering a session, our brain continuously listens and processes it. But if suddenly your friend whispers something, the focus shifts from the teacher's speech to your friend's conversation. So now the brain is processing both the sounds but it is going to prioritize the one in which your interest lies. Now, how does the sound travel to the brain? The sound reaches the brain through a long channel. As the person speaks, the sound travels from the mouth and goes to the listener's eardrum. The sound striking the eardrum is converted into a neuron impulse and it gets transported to the brain and processed. After processing this signal, the brain gains an understanding around the meaning of it. If it's clear, the signal gets stored. Otherwise, the listener asks for clarity to the speaker. This is how human languages are getting processed. Now, on the other hand, the computer does not understand whatever language we speak. It understands only the numbers. Now, if we want the machine to understand our language, how should this happen? What are the possible difficulties a machine would face with processing a natural language? Let us look at three of them today. The first one is the arrangement of words and its meaning. The second one is the multiple meanings of a word. And the third one is perfect syntax but no meaning. If we looked into the arrangement of words and meaning, there's something called as syntax. Syntax is nothing but the rules or the grammatical structure of a language. Okay. Now, the human language, if we take English, we have nouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives. A word can be a noun at one time. It can be an adjective at another time. So these rules provide structure to a language. So syntax is important for the language. There's something called as semantics, which is the meaning of the word. What is the meaning of the sentence? Right? If you look into the analogy with programming language, if you take 2 plus 3, it is same as 3 plus 2. Even though this has different syntax, it has the same meaning. If you take the same syntax, for example, in Python version 2.7, if you divide the number 3 by 2, what we get is 1. But the same problem in Python version 3 is going to result with an output of 1.5. So what we understand is that even though we have the same syntax, it carries different meanings. Now, let us look into the second one, multiple meanings of the word. If you consider the word red, it is used in different ways in the given sentences. For example, if you see this first sentence, his face turns red after he found that he took the wrong bag. If you look into this sentence, what does this mean? Is he feeling ashamed because he took another person's bag instead of his bag or he is feeling angry because he did not manage to steal the one that he was looking for. So the word takes different meanings here. If you look at another example of the same word read in another sentence, the car zoomed past his nose. Are we talking about the color of the car or are we talking about the speed of the car? Again, the meaning varies. Let's look into the third example. His face turns red after consuming the medicine. Is he having an allergic reaction or is he not able to bear the taste of the medicine? 
So we are looping into the context here. Now the context may vary depending on what we are talking about in that particular statement or if we look into the entire paragraph, we may get the right meaning for this particular sentence and word. So the difficulty with language also goes with multiple meanings of words. Now the third difficulty that we may come across is perfect syntax but there is no meaning. If you read this sentence, chickens feed extravagantly while the moon drinks tea. Even though the sentence looks grammatically correct, it does not make any sense. So in human language, a perfect balance of syntax and semantics is important for better understanding. Now, these were some of the challenges that we may face while trying to teach computer how to understand and interact in human languages. So, how does the natural language processing do the magic? How are we going to make the computer understand? We all know that humans speak in a lot of languages, but the language of computers is numerical. The very first step that comes to our mind is to convert our language into numbers. The first step to simplify this is text normalization. Now text normalization helps in cleaning up the actual textual data in such a way that it comes down to a level where the complexity is much much lower than the actual data. Before we begin, let us understand the term corpus. Now, we have a lot of documents that are put together and this is going to be taken for processing. The whole textual data taken from all documents together is what we call the corpus. Now, there are five steps in text normalization and they are Sentence segmentation, tokenization, removal of stop words, special characters and numbers, converting text to a common case and finally the process of stemming or lemmatization. Let us look into each one of this in detail. Now the first step is sentence segmentation. Here we are going to take the whole corpus and divide them into sentences. Suppose if I assume my corpus has a small paragraph like this, after sentence segmentation, it is going to result in just two sentences. In our CBSC Class 10 Facilitator Handbook, they have given a link which demonstrates sentence segmentation. Let me click on this particular link which is given in the book and this will open up the website. Now here I am going to give the same sentence as given in the textbook and see how this is getting segmented. Now, as we see in the example, the same way here, we find that the paragraph has got segmented into two different sentences. Now, let us see the second step, which is tokenization. Once the sentence is got segmented, it is further divided into tokens. Now, token is a term which is used for any word, number or special character occurring in the sentence. So, there are 26 tokens which result after tokenization. Now, I open the other link which is given in the textbook and change it to this particular example as given in the book. I am pasting it in the text and clicking on tokenize. So you find with various tokenization functions that are available in Python natural language toolkit package, you see the number of tokens that are the result of this sentence. Now let us understand the third step which is the removal of stop words, special characters and numbers. Now, stop words are the words which occur frequently in the corpus but has no meaning to it. We humans use grammar to make the sentence meaningful for the person to understand. 
but grammatical words do not add any essence to the information that is to be transmitted hence they come under stop words if you import the natural language toolkit library and you type in the program which is given here on the screen you will get the list of stop words now these words occur the most in any given corpus but carries no meaning so such words can be easily removed let's now understand the fourth step which is to convert the text to a common case once the stop words are removed we convert the whole text into similar case and preferably lower case we may be coming across a particular word all in capital letters or few characters like this in capital letters or some characters in small letters so what we are going to do with this is we are going to convert it all into lower case preferably hence it would be treated as the same word by the machine now finally we go through the process called stemming or lemmatization stemming is the process of removing the affixes of the word and convert it to the base form now if you look at these examples you find that the affixes are getting removed here inhaled ed is getting removed and it is stemmed the resultant word is the stemmed word it is heal and so for healing healer it is giving it correctly but if you see for studies it removes es and it results in studi now if you take studying it is giving you the right base word so we may come across certain words which may not be meaningful or which may not be the correct base word during the process of stemming but this is going to happen very fast because it is simply removing the affixes you can also check out how this works by going through this website you can give the text and check how it is getting stemmed see you see the original text and the resulting word so you can use this website for understanding how stemming works lemmatization is also a similar process which is going to remove the affixes but here it makes sure that the base word which it is going to give as a result called lemma is a meaningful word and it is the right base word now if you give the same words and use lemmatization on it you find that the affixes are getting removed here and the resulting word is the right base word and a meaningful one so if you take studies here it is going to result in the word study s t u d y now there is also a link which is given for this we can go through this link as well now i give here studies and let me see what is the output of lemmatization see it gives you the right word and that is study now students if you are asked to differentiate between stemming and lemmatization you can say that stemming is the process of removing the affixes and converting the word to its base form that is the stem word this may or may not be meaningful and the base word may or may not be correct but if you consider lemmatization it is also the process of removing the affixes and converting the word to its base form which we call as lemma but this is a meaningful one and the base word is always correct stemming takes lesser time to execute while lemmatization takes a little more time because it needs to arrive at the proper meaningful base word now an example in which we find that the base word is wrong is caring which may result in car when you stem it and that may result in care when you lemmatize it got it
So in this session, we have discussed the difference between human language and computer language, the three difficulties in human language, and the five steps of text normalization. With this, I conclude the session today. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.